So an interesting question was posed by a friend of mine on Facebook. He said, how do we simulate something sacred? Or um, along those lines, how do we recreate the sacredness of, of, a, of an event or an object? And uh, we had a mighty fine discussion about this. Um, he's actually quite an intellectual, um, very well spoken, but um, we discussed first the uh, definition of what is sacred, and I wanted to um, separate the spiritual aspect of it versus the uh, what I feel would be sacred, which is um, giving reverence to something or special interest uh, to something. I don't feel um, spirituality exists, and I explained it to him. Um, so we we discussed uh, what is sacred, and. Uh, there were a couple of uh, interesting points, like a um, um, question that I would uh, pose is, um, would um, upper middle class women uh, going to a yoga class experience the same kind of sacred event that a, um, a tantric yogi sitting on a mountaintop would? Um, and I, I believe that the sacredness of, of an experience is, is in the experience, and it's by the person perceiving the experience. Um, it has to do with intent. Um, and, and you can figure this out by replacing, uh, replacing the word sacred with some other emotional adjective, like um, can you recreate love by by um, creating a situation or can you um, um, simulate uh, affection or can you simulate fear um, by creating a situation I don't know uh, fear might actually be something that you could simulate by recreating the situation but um, yeah would you be able to simulate uh, something sacred by creating a sick uh, situation, or is it all on the uh, the terms of the person, you know, the person perceiving the event? Um, is it objective? Is sacred independent from the mind, or is sacred just something that uh, we describe? See, I uh, I used to know this girl who sells her body for money. Um, she has sex and then collects money, um, but she doesn't call herself a prostitute. She doesn't call herself an escort. She calls herself a sacred intimate because when you, it's, it's the intent that she has when she's doing it. She intends that it's not a, uh, uh, pro an act of prostitution. She's not selling sex. She's not selling intimacy. She's selling the sacredness of the event, the specialness of it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Uh, what is sacred to you? How would you define the word sacred? And then, uh, do you think that you could recreate uh, a sacred event or recreate sacredness by by creating um, a simulated event of what is sacred? Discuss.